Hello folks and welcome to a Project Invictus Part 1 from Max Thrust RC. Yes, this is the latest project from the Skunk Works. What is Project Invictus? Well, I'll tell you. It's going to be my latest supersonic project. As most of you saw, my previous supersonic project, Project Skyshark, ended in a little bit of catastrophe. It wasn't exactly a textbook launch. Obviously, Max Thrust has gone through the sound barrier, but that was more luck than judgment, to be honest. But this time, we're going to build a hardcore speed machine capable of absolutely blistering through the sound barrier. It's going to be built using really strong materials. We've got fiberglass phenolic for the airframe. Uh, obviously, we've got some uh, thick G10 fiberglass fins. I'm going to be using an interesting technique to route those into the airframe so that if we do get any uh, flutter involved, it's going to stay absolutely solid. As I say, this thing is going to be built from the ground up to absolutely hammer the sound barrier, go through it. It's going to look really spectacular on the ground and in the air. I also want to get a super smooth paint job on it, just so that we give it the absolute best chance of reaching its peak velocity. Right, well I think that's enough talking, let's go and have a look at it. Right, let's have a look at the components. Here you can see the uh, hammer motor retainer. Uh, it's a 54 mil, as you can see on here. And these are the exact same thing I used on my Quantum Leap project. It's gonna be a 54 mil motor tube, so we should be able to put a K in there and really send her up nice and high. Right, let's have a look at the next item. Right, as you can see here, we've also got a hood for my camera. This is for my Mobius. It's going to keep it nice and secure. As you can see, the diameter is set up there for a 3.1 inch rocket, which is what Sudden Rush is. It's also got this beautiful aerodynamic shape to it, so that's going to help increase the top speed dramatically as well. And uh, if I show you up a bit closer, this is actually 3D printed. I got it from America. You can see the little uh, steps in it there from the 3D printing process. So yeah, quite a cool piece of kit. What's next? Okay, the next thing you can see is quite interesting. It's adjustable density liquid foam, uh, which you can see here. And the idea is that you mix these two parts here, you've got part A and uh, part B, which you can see there. And you can use this to fill the fin can up, so the space between the motor mount tube and the outer airframe uh, to help really secure the, the fins in place, uh, which is going to give us a whole load of extra strength. I'm also going to use a technique which I'll show you in the uh, build portion and uh, we'll see how that works out. It should hopefully do the job quite nicely. Right, now onto the actual rocket. Okay folks, here we are onto the rocket itself. As you can see, it's another Public Missiles CPR 3000 kit and more specifically, it is the Sudden Rush. As you see, here we go, we've got uh, the bottom half of the kit as it comes in the packaging here, and I'll just show you the top half. And here is the top half of the kit. You can see the little boat tail in the top there, and you can also make out it's a 54 inch parachute. And I've done that for a reason. Some of you may have spotted it already. I'll just go in close and show you specifically why. Okay, so hopefully, as you can make out here, you can see that there's a texture above the phenolic tubing. And that is because I've had the whole tube for the entire airframe fiberglassed, which is gonna make this absolutely super rigid and super strong for going through the sound barrier. Right, now we've got the materials and the rocket design for the job. We've just gotta put it together. I'm not going to do a detailed build video on this rocket as much of it is the same as the build of my Quantum Leap rocket. So I've put a link in the description below to that build. So if you want to see an in-depth build of a public missiles kit, click on that. The bit that I will show you is the routing of the fins and the technique that I'm going to use to give this absolutely super strength. 
So let's get on with it. Alrighty folks, here you can see the foam I'm going to be using to fill my thin can up with. So it's going to make it absolutely super strong. Uh, I thought I'd demonstrate how the stuff works. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm going to be using it as well. So you can see it's a bit like an epoxy. You've got two parts. You've got part uh, B here and part A there. Um, I'm going to put them into this little jug, stir it up, pour it into here, and we'll see what we get. It's 20 mil of each at a time, so about 40 mil. So I know roughly where that is on that uh, little cup. So uh, yeah, let's see how it works. Righty ho, if we go with that part A first, just undo the lid. All right, pour this in to about there. Now it says you have to uh, do about 30 seconds worth of uh, stirring. I'll just pop that out of the way for the time being. And we'll do this one. Let's move that a bit closer to me. Right, I'd say that's about right. Again, we'll move that out of the way. So, 30 seconds or so worth of stirring. Give it a good mix up. It's quite a, uh, a thick stuff. Right, now we'll, we'll pour it into here. And we'll uh, see how it goes. Let's try and scoop as much out of this as possible. Right, let's put this on here, like so, and uh, we'll let it go. Right, folks, as you can see, it went off, it's expanded, and we've now got uh, this big foamy cup. And I can tell you, just from feeling the cup, it is reasonably warm, so it's quite an exothermic reaction. That means it produces a lot of heat. Um, I'll let this set entirely, but as you can see, it's been proven in principle, so I'm happy to use this in my rocket now. Excellent. Next, I'll show you the fins. Okay, folks, here you can see the fins. They're G10 fiberglass, and I've upgraded them to 0.125 inch thickness. And you can see how thick they are here. And I can tell you, they are absolutely rigid. They um, <laughs> don't flex at all, so that's brilliant. As you can see, I've done some uh, things to them. I've rounded the edges, as per most of my builds. As well as obviously being a supersonic build, it couldn't be a supersonic rocket without a rounded edge. So I've done that to reduce the drag. You can also see that I have uh, scuffed up the roots of the fin. You can see the difference there. That's not scuffed, that's scuffed up. So that's to help the epoxy bond. And in my Quantum Leap build video, I don't think I really emphasise at all how important it is that you do scuff up your surfaces to be bonded as it makes it much stronger. I've also drilled five holes in the root of each fin. That's so the foam can then expand into these holes as well as obviously gripping the surface of the fin to get an absolutely super strong bond. Hopefully it'll also dampen any vibrations as well. Okay, let's put the fins into the airframe and then uh, we'll pour some foam in. Alrighty folks, here you can see I put the fins on. I've also put the fillets on the fins. So if I show you inside the fin can, you can see the roots there uh, attached with a bit of epoxy and then uh, the line of holes going right down the fin can for the foam to weave into. So it's now just this uh, cavity here at the back that I have to put the foam in and let it expand. And I'll do it in a couple of batches because as I say, it gets quite hot with the exothermic reaction. 
So I'll do that and I'll show you when it's all done. Alrighty, now I've put the expanding foam into the fin can and my god, it's one of the messiest things I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, it really doesn't <laughs> go everywhere. It expands really nicely and I tell you, it does get hot. I mean, you feel the airframe and it is properly, properly hot. But here you can see, I'll put it in. Now it all expanded out as per the uh, picture in the instructions over the motor tube uh, all out here. So I've had the Dremel out for a bit. I've been grinding it away so that I can um, put my boat tail on. Uh, but as you can see, it's all in there. It's getting uh, getting there slowly but surely. So I'll show you uh, the finished product. But uh, yeah, this really is solid. I mean, it's like steel. So <laughs> these fins aren't going anywhere. I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, folks, you can see that I've put the boat tail on. And I've also put the motor retainer on as well. So that is it. These fins are now in absolutely solidly. There is, um, yes, no way these are coming out. So, uh, well, that's the idea anyway. <laughs> so there we go. Right, I shall finish off the rest of the build. And I'll get back to you when it's done. Alrighty folks, here you can see Invictus fully built, assembled, put together. The boat tail at the bottom, there's the fins encapsulated with the expanding foam as we go up. We see the Mobius shroud, that's going to get us some great footage. The phenolic fiberglass airframe as we continue up towards the nose cone where it stands nice and proud. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's built like an absolute tank so it should look excellent going through the air super high and super fast the next episode is going to be on the paint job so if you don't want to miss that please hit the subscribe button otherwise i hope you enjoyed project invictus part one and i'll see you next time on max thrust rc bye